It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking types of solutions. No solution, one solution, and infinitely many solutions. Here's our question today. We're going to consider this system of equations. 4x subtract 3y equals negative 7, and negative 4x add 3y equals negative 7. We're asked which of the following statements about the system of equations is true. The system has no solution. The system has exactly one solution. The system has exactly two solutions. Or the system has infinitely many solutions. So here's where you pause the video. You do your best work. Pick your answer choice and come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. Again, we're going to determine which of the statements is true relative to this system of equations. So we're looking at four different types of solutions. We're going to start with the first. Let's look at this. It says no solution. If the system has no solution, then we're going to have a numerical value that does not equal another numerical value. So the x variable and the y variable will be eliminated when we solve the system and we'll have a false numerical statement. If it's one solution, when we solve, we're going to get an x value and one y value that create the ordered pair where if we graphed these two lines, they would intersect. Going back to no solution, if we graphed it, they would be parallel lines and never intersect. C asks for exactly two solutions. This will never happen. Two lines graphed in a coordinate plane can never intersect at two points. And the solution to a system is the point of intersection. So we're going to eliminate answer choice C right off the bat. Never can this happen. And then D, the system has infinitely many solutions. And this would help in algebraically when we solve it that the X and Y terms would be eliminated during solving and we would end up with a true numerical statement. A number equals a number. So it would be a true numerical statement. When graphed, infinitely many solutions would be coinciding lines. So you would graph a line, and then the second line or equation in the system would be the same exact line. So coinciding one right on top of the other. Well, let's go up and solve our system so that we can determine which type of solution. So because 4 and negative 4, the coefficients of x, are opposites, I'm going to add. When I add these like terms, they are opposites and form a zero pair and are zero. So the x terms are eliminated. When I look at adding negative 3y and positive 3y, those are also opposites forming another zero pair. So on the left side of my system, when I add, I'm going to get a value of zero. That is going to be equal to negative 7 add negative 7, which is negative 14. 0 does not equal negative 14. That's an incorrect or a false statement. So therefore, I can conclude that A is the answer here, and that is what is true. When I solve, I get a numerical statement that is not true, so therefore, this system has no solution if I graphed these two linear equations, they would be parallel lines. And there you have it. Types of solutions. No solution, one solution, or infinitely many solutions. And that's the magic of math, where we master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you come back soon.